if Kilkenny are to make up the ground in the last couple of years, and I, I'm just looking at last year, really, so, you know, tough for, it was tough for everybody, but, you know, for Derry Kling, it was two games and a combined 20-point loss. And, and, you know, that's not just a single out Kilkenny. Everybody's having those difficulties. But do you think in 2024, anything that was where you came up short last year, have you found players tactically are you doing nothing different? No, it's hard, it's hard to see it. It's hard to see it. I, I thought, you know, I thought after maybe 2022 that we might be, you know, building towards being able to beat Limerick again. And last year for maybe 45 minutes, you know, we looked like we probably could, but then just fell away at the end. And I think, you know, I thought at the start of this year, if we were going to have any chance, we were going to have to build on last year and probably find three or four lads, maybe as impact subs to come off the bench, you know, as Limerick do, you know, they're able to change it up, you know, come that 45, 50 minutes and they get that burst of energy. And we we just don't seem to have done that. I talk Conor Heary after the club campaign he had with the Lachlans might be one, um, but I think he's only played in one game for Kilkenny since. Uh, I'm not sure if he's injured now, but I thought he might be one to, to come on, but we don't seem to have found anyone else. So um, I wouldn't, it's not worrying times, but, you know, I think, the time is getting shorter towards championship now, and if you're going to find them, it has to be about now. Mm, okay, and just in terms of of the spine of the team, you know, Hugh Lawler's obviously an excellent full back. You've got TJ in the forwards. You've got Owen Cody, Adrian Mullen. That's all. That's all looking pretty good. But in terms of half back line, which you know troubles everybody against Limerick, who who's going to play there? Midfield, who's going to play there? And this is the problem for Tip, for example, yeah. as well. It's a big problem for Kilkenny, and I think the centre back position is a huge problem. Um, you know, we played Richard Reid there for, for the last two years. Paddy Deegan was in last weekend, and we just don't seem to be able to get a centre back. And I think if you're going to be Limerick, it's going to be on that foundation. You know, that half back line, possibly the centre back. And if it was me, I think you know to beat Limerick, you're going to have to take chances, and I'd be pushing you all around. You know, and take a chance at full back. Who do you put in there? That's the other question. I, I've spoken to a couple of lads on this and a couple of lads are of the opinion to leave Hugh Lawler full back and play David, ba- David Blanchfield centre back. He plays there for Bennis Bridge, does well for him. Uh, might work, but I, I genuinely think if we're going to have any chance of beating Limerick, and you know, look, we're going to have to go through an awful lot of other teams to get to Limerick as well, but um, you know, I think that's what you have to build towards is trying to get over the All-Ireland champions. And I think Yule Aller has to come out the centre-back and drive it on from there.